a project that helped me a lot would be mini shell because in that we actually got to see how the ubuntu system works like the commands we type on the screen how they are they exactly executed in the back end of the system uh, my name is tanuja i'm from bangalore karnataka i hold a bachelor's degree in computer science and engineering from lovely professional university in punjab with a gpa of 9.1 i passed out in the year 2023 why did you choose embedded systems and why did you join emergy I actually took a gap year to try for higher education and uh, due to visa process I couldn't get in uh, due to which I couldn't apply to companies my resume was not getting shortlisted and my friend suggested me uh, this course he had previously uh, done the course and gotten placed pretty easily and I chose embedded systems because there was not any developer per based courses out there for csc students there's testing role courses web development courses but i wanted a c++ developer or a python developer and i saw that doing this course or iot course which you guys provide would lead uh, to a placement in a uh, development side of the sector so what was the hardest part you faced when you started learning this program I think uh, the basics because I did not really remember any of the basic electronics which I had studied in my first year so I had to kind of put in my own efforts and since everyone in the class understood stuff way better than me because they were from EC background it was a bit disappointing that I couldn't catch up on the same level especially in the classes when they were answering the questions I had no idea what was happening sometimes so I, that was a bit difficult Was there a time you felt like giving up? What kept you motivated? I don't think I ever felt like giving up because I always liked learning new things. So when I couldn't catch up, I just went home, watch YouTube videos and then I found it very interesting. It was actually pretty fun to even work on the project where we actually saw how hardware and software are connected so when i actually started doing the project it got very interesting so that's how i was motivated how did emergy's course structure help you understand complex topics and projects i think for me mainly the difficult part was because i'm from a csc background the microcontrollers module and in that i think the project started kind of along with the course structure like theory classes were kind of focusing on what parts are there in the pic microcontroller so it was easier for me to understand like we had the board in the class with the theory and the lab session so practically looking at it and studying along with it helped me a lot how did projects shape your understanding of embedded systems projects mainly help you when bridge the gap between theory and the practical implementation of everything so a project that helped me a lot would be mini shell because in that we actually got to see how the ubuntu system works like the commands we type on the screen how they are they exactly executed in the back end of the system so that was really interesting did assignments and projects influence your interview performance assignments and projects were really important because in class we are just learning theory but when we actually go solve questions and assignments or do projects we are understanding what exactly is happening and in project we make like multiple mistakes so when we sit and debug that's when we actually learn that's when we grow if you just copy you won't be able to answer the questions in interview because a lot of times in interviews they ask you to explain your project and when you start explaining in interviews they dig deep they try to get to the core until a point you're not able to answer the question so if you've just copied it you won't be able to get past even the first round so yeah assignments help because sometimes we get lazy and we kind of in between give up but then we have these assignments which we have to complete within the deadline so at least to complete by the de- de- deadline we force ourselves when we are studying every day through the main thing about coding is consistency so when you're coding every day you're not going to lose your skills At what point did you start to feel confident that you have become industry ready? Yeah, by the end of it during mock interviews, I felt like I was pretty confident with how I answered the question and I would be able to crack the interview. What was your reaction when you first heard about getting the Chelsea opportunity? Before all the interviews, I was a bit nervous. No matter how much I had studied, we were not really sure 
exactly on what concept they might ask the questions but once the interview started after 5-10 minutes it gets pretty comfortable any lessons during your course that helped you during your interviews maybe trying to be confident with your answers and giving practical example for all the questions they ask like any questions they ask instead of just explaining it theoretically explain how it is implemented in real life or how you have implemented it in one of your projects what advice would you give to beginners aspiring in embedded systems who feel uncertain Yeah, I think taking up this course is a pretty good suggestion because it they have actually built it pretty well structured. You go step by step, so you don't really feel lost. Even if you feel lost, there are other people who are in the same boat. So we are just motivating each other, and a bit of healthy competition is good when you're feeling a bit lost. How was your interview experience, including any challenges or setbacks? So I had three rounds of interview. I feel like the first two went pretty well, and the third round was a bit tricky because um, it was uh, completely deep into knowledge. As I told you, like any question I answered, the follow up was why, how. So he went till a point to check how much depth do I have in everything. So when he went on asking why, how, at a point I reached like I did not know the answer. So. Initially I fumbled a bit because I lost my confidence all of a sudden I wasn't able to answer questions but then uh, I realized that he's digging this deep because I have cleared the two rounds and because I've been answering so many questions that's the reason he's going very deep so that kind of kept me motivated because if I was if I was not able to answer those questions he wouldn't go so deep what does securing a job at Chelsea mean to you looking back on your journey Yeah I feel the journey has been pretty good but it, there were a lot of ups and downs it was kind of fun because coming in to a class after a long break I also because most of my studies was uh, online because of covid I think I attended university just for one year so coming back into a classroom environment was really fun trying to study with all the people that was pretty good What would you say to students taking a year gap about their career? Everyone kind of sometimes needs a, need a break for different reason. Maybe you tried to do something else, you tried another path, it did not work out, and it's even if we do this course and by the end of the course they think embedded system is not for them, still the course adds a value into your resume. So if you are applying. to any other company in the future since it's a recognized government certification it will help you at least get your resume shortlisted into a company so you won't hit a dead end if you do this any kind of course what's next for you in your career for now it is just to grow uh, in celsio and uh, work hard uh, build a basic uh, knowledge and deepen my skills so that i can work further in the future maybe get into a better role what's the one do and one don't you advise anyone succeed in their career i think one thing they should do is consistency no matter how difficult it gets sometimes or how boring it gets if we stop putting in any work we won't finally reach the place we want to reach and one thing not to do is get discouraged and when especially when we get discouraged just giving up is not the solution because a lot of times we feel like things are not going our way in life and kind of even though we have taken break we should always come back and try to do something new